Happy New Year! I bet you thought that New Year's was over. After all, it's January 26th. But if you're Chinese, you are just beginning your New Year's celebration. January 26th begins the first day of the Chinese New Year, and this is the year 4706 or 4707, depending on who's counting in the Chinese New Year's. So today I decided to show you how to sew this Chinese lanterns quilt block together in celebration of Chinese New Year's. And interestingly enough, January 26th marks the beginning of a 15-day celebration, which ends on February 9th with the Chinese Lantern Festival. So here you are. You can sew your Chinese lantern quilt block together and celebrate the festival on February 9th. Hi, this is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'm ready to get started sewing this block together. Let's go. It seems like during the past few weeks we've had several blocks that have had these 60 degree uh, triangles in them, and today is no different. Today I'm going to sew the top half of this block together and then the bottom half. And here I've got my pieces out. And I think what I'm going to do is just start with sewing the two edges together and then I'll piece the center here. So just a seam down here and a seam down there. I can tell this is going to be really quick. So these two have been sewn together and now I'm going to put these together. And I'm just going to check and make sure that my seam allowances are facing in op opposite directions, which is going to make these two fit together very nicely. Okay, we've got these four triangles sewn together, and now we just need to add these corner pieces, which are kind of sky pieces. And I'm just going to add one at a time and just stitch on through. Now this, this triangle is sewn on, and I just need to stitch this one on. And I'm just going to be careful when I sew these together I've got all of these seam allowances facing this side, and I'm just going to make sure that I sew those the same direction as I stitch on this last triangle. This top section is finished, and just for to do something a little bit different, I think I'm going to change the order that I sew these bottom ones together, and I'm going to start with the center. I'm going to sew these two together and then add the outside pieces on. These two are sewn together, and I'm going to add this piece on to the side here. Now I'm going to add this triangle on. Now that the four center triangles are done, uh, it's time to add the side pieces on. So I'll just add this one, and then I'll add the second side. Now we've got the top half done and the bottom half done, so we just need to sew these together. So you just uh, put them right sides together and line them up and stitch it across the bottom. Our Chinese Lanterns quilt block is all finished and ready to get sewn into a quilt. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com. Happy New Year! And if you're not already there, head on over to QuiltBlockLibrary.com and get your free download of this pattern. It really is quite easy to sew and you can make a lot of them before the Chinese Lantern Festival on February 9th. Thanks again, and peaceful piecing.